What's up everyone and welcome back for more Ocarina of Time. In the last episode I reached the legendary sword, the Master Sword. And come to think of it, remember Ganondorf saying something like the door of time actually is also the guardian entrance to the Sacred Realm. And because I opened it, the door to the Sacred Realm should have opened as well. So that could be problematic as Ganondorf cannot access the Triforce. So if you look at the green button on the top it says grab, which means I can grab the sword and let's do it. And with some other epic music, I will pull out this legendary blade. And the Triforce lights up, some blue aura spreading around. And that's Ganondorf, that's not really that good, I think. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. Spiritual stones. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. I was afraid this would happen. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Yep, the sacred realm is now opened, which means Ganondorf can access the Triforce, and that's a real, real, real big problem. Particle, wake up! Particle, the chosen one! The chosen one? And where am I? Some sort of blue aura I can see. This is through my own perspective. What is this place? And there's a figure there, isn't it? But where am I? All the way. Wow. This, this is a real strange place. That's some sort of green symbol. And whoa, oh my god. It's a fatty. I am Raru, one of the ancient, ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light, which we sadly cannot access in this game. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the realm. Particle, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. And the first time I saw this, I was so freaking excited. I've grown up. I've seriously grown up. I've become a lot larger. Wow. Look, Particle. You're big now. You've grown up. Yes, I did. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. So actually, we're seven years older. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Do you understand your destiny? Yes, I do. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light. And with his power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the Temple of Hyrule, and in the seven short years, it transformed Hyrule to a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in the Sacred Realm, namely the Chamber of Sages. But there is still hope. The power of the Sages remains. When the power of all the Sages is awakened, the Sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the Sages. And your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the master sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. And after this sort of pep talk speech, Raru will present to me the first of six medallions, which is like the next collecting item. We need six and they're all stationed into dungeons. We got the Light Medallion, Robert the Sage, as his power to yours. It won't change a thing, but yeah. At least you got the Light Medallion. Find the other Sages and save Hyrule. Well, what they forget to mention here is that the tribe was split in three pieces the moment Ganondorf touched it. And those three pieces were spread among others as well. He only kept the Triforce of Power for himself. The Triforce of Wisdom went to Zelda and I got the Triforce of Courage. But it will probably get explained in a later moment. Particle, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? 
It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. And I walk out, but oh my god, who's that? Who is that? So I'll just pull out my sword. Who is that? I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forest, the forest temple. One on a high mountain, death mountain, the fire temple. One under a vast lake, Lake Helia, the water temple. One within the house of shadows, uh, house of the dead, shadow temple. One inside a goddess of the sand, the spirit temple. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there, holding the mythical master sword, you really do look like you're the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, particle? I guess. Anyways, I'm grown up now and the major change here is that some of your items, the deco sticks, the slingshot, the boomerang, the beans and the mask of truth will no longer work. So I'm pretty much stuck with bomb shoes, um, deco nuts, bombs, the ocarina of time and my spells. And I can no longer wear the deco shield and the kukiri sword but I got a stronger sword. This obviously doesn't work anymore because I don't have the slingshot anymore. We're strong enough for the Goron Bracelet, so that doesn't work either, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we are grown up, and you can hear it in your voice, you're actually a lot deeper voice. So let's get the hell out of here. And back into- oh my god, what happened here? Wow. That uh, definitely doesn't good. Doesn't look good over there. Death Mountain, some sort of fire spiral. And the, oh my god, the sky! It's, uh, what happened here? Seriously, what what happened here? It's not even close to what it used to be. And oh my god, red hats, red hats, red hats, red hats, red hats, red hats, kill him! Yeah. Fortunately for you, these red hats, as you walk by him, they will scream, but they will not stun you, and that's really good. When I was little, I got this game when I was nine, and. Technically, the red hats, when they stunned you and sat on your back, they scared the living shit out of me. So as you can see, there is a lot of change here. Like the bridge here, who obviously looks different. And the mountain looks okay from here, but it has definitely changed. And those things are big bows, and we will get those later. We need the hero's bow for them, and we don't have those yet. Or actually, it's the fairy bow in this uh, game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a transportation method here. Do you remember Ebona, the horse? Indeed, she has grown up as well and it's time for us to get a horse to ride on. No, we shouldn't believe what she said and go to Kakariko village. Yet. Not yet. Because we need a horse first. It will make the um, transportation a lot quicker. Now the main thing which you'll see here is that this dude, this jackass, became the owner of London Ranch, because of Ganondorf. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and rear recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man. Do we want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me 10 rubies and you can ride. I don't want to hear how to ride. So what you need to do here is get some sort of random horse. It doesn't really matter which one. Just get one and 
do a little bit of riding here, and that's pretty much it. This horse is really slow, by the way. Just like that. Okay, and if you made a nice circle, you can go back to him. And I like, I am done. And then talk to him again, and I don't want to listen how to write. And what you then need to do is play upon a song. Oh. Oh. Like that, yes. Up left right, Ipana song for me. And now Ipana will get over here because she recognized the song. And wow, she's grown up a lot. Now I can actually write her. And let's go to um, him. That will make a little wager. So let's go. So now we got a race against this dude. Yeah, and he will cut you off a little bit. It's okay. The first battle is fairly easy to win. See? Oh my god, he's blocking me. It's okay, it's not that difficult. He is a lot quicker than this horse. And you will pass him in this area. Like this. If you just pull through like that. And let's finish the race. Really easy. And he's like, oh my god, what did you just do? Did you just win? If the Great Ganador found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. And that's what we're looking for. Now he's gonna take a quicker horse. And one word of advice here, don't even try to pass him here. He is quick and he will cut you off. You can try to get past him here, but he you actually need to make sure that he doesn't get ahead too far. That's the only thing. That's the only thing you need to do, and it's probably in here which you need to pass him. And if you do it right and block him off, then you can win this race as well. It's a little bit less tight, but it's still easy. If you do it right. And then he goes even more crazy. What's up with that horse? Is that Ipona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race I lost. Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. And he closes the gates. And I'm like, yeah, screw you, big deal. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take a little bit of distance here. And what I'm gonna do now is make a little bit of a throttle up. And I'm gonna jump straight over the fence into his face. And that's how we get out of here. So all I can say is good job, well done, and we now got a horse, so hopefully I don't have to backtrack a lot of more because this is a lot quicker. Anywho, following now we're gonna follow Sheik's advice and go to Kakarika Village. And as you can see, this is a lot, lot, lot quicker than the walking we're used to. And yeah, I'm using all my carrots here because this is exactly where I need to go. Ipona doesn't really like staircases. So I'm gonna jump off and go into here. And Kakarika seems pretty unharmed for all the chaos here. Yeah, it's a lot different though. Things have changed. The building, however, here, if you look, that was built uh, seven years ago is actually finished. It's the shooting range. Which we uh, recognize from uh, from the Hyrule Market, and this girl is still here, the Kako girl. I will need her later, not yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here onto the graveyard, and if you remember correctly, I planted the bean here, which grown. So now I can do it like that. Get up here, bash that thing, and get another heart piece. It's my third one, and soon I'll have another heart. So, having done that, I will cut it off with the following, I think. No, wait, I'm gonna cut it off right now. In the next episode, I need to look for an item, which I need to access the forest temple, so... Thank you all for watching, make sure to like, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.